Do you wish you could find someone to tell you everything you need to know about hair extension and what you need to watch out for before you get your first set? If that is you, you need to watch this video. I have done this for so long and as an specialist, I have to say before I get my first set, I wish I knew all of these factors. So I'm going to reveal that for you. There are three parts to this video. On the first video, I'm going to link below. I've gone over the uh, first three things. In this video, it's going to be the four things and the third video is going to be the last two. It is so long. That is why I've kind of chopped it up. So let's go. The fourth factor is knowing that a right professional application even if you opt in for a temporary method makes all the difference finding the right person to know what to do to customize a piece for you whether it would be a halo whether it would be a clip-on whether it would be a band or just a semi-permanent application like fusion it makes all the difference in the world don't ever 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 just watch a DIY video and try to do them yourself. I've done this for over 25 years and I don't dare try to do my own hair or even fix a slipped bead or even fix a corner that's popped out because I don't have control over my own head. I can't see it in every angle and I can definitely harm my head, my hair. And at this point, if you do cause any kind of damage and you try to go the short route, you might really be sorry about choosing that and then you end up having to be stuck trying to fix it or grow that hair back. The fifth thing I wish I knew when I got my first set of hair extensions was I wish I knew my end game. I knew my long-term goal and I just didn't just get him to get him. I'll tell you a little bit of a story about myself. I went through a really bad hair loss. I was in my mid twenties or actually mid to early twenties. And uh, I was just devastated. It really changed the way I felt and I was uh, acting in my confidence and everything that I was dealing with. Personally, I've, I, I was always somebody who had a lot of hair and I never thought having hair loss it would be an issue but after that happened it completely changed my confidence so i was already in a stylist i was just a few years i was doing hair but i wasn't into the world of extensions and i have to say i was just terrified honestly a lot of people that i saw i saw really bad bad hair extensions or uh what i knew and all these things that I saw was just bad examples. So I was very afraid of getting them, but it wasn't a situation that I was like, okay, I have to do something at least for a short period of time. And when I opted in for hair extensions, I really didn't know there were that many different methods of extensions. Generally you have like your hairstylist, which I was already a hairstylist and then you had your wig people. So there was no in between. And at the time that I got mine, social media wasn't a thing. So it wasn't like you have all the information that you want and you had like, you know, books and things you could refer to. But when I got my very first set of extensions, I barely had enough money to purchase the hair. And I found a stylist in Houston that I give my hats off to. He helped me with my first set of great length hair extensions. Like I loved them when I got them. It was just like a game changer, but I didn't know really how long I could keep them in and if I had enough money for my next set. So I ended up just prolonging it and really not planning on my next set. So what you need to do is you need to plan out your year at least next six months or seven months and have a plan B and knowing what you're going to do according to the method that you choose. If you do fusion, plan on like give yourself two scenarios. If you're going to take it out, are you going to reassess how you're going your hair grown or what's your plan? 
or are you immediately going to put them back on? This way, you're not mentally shocked because it, it is that like getting used to process and a few weeks in between that once you take your hair extensions out and they're completely off your head, if you have semi-permanent hair extension, you feel absolutely bald. I would tell you this over and over. I have gotten extensions now for 25 years or 23 years at least, I would say. And to this day, every single time I remove my extensions, I have a kind of a breakdown because I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, my hair is so thin. Or I go through that like in between a stage and a lot of times I'm not able to put them back in the same day. So if I was mentally prepped and ready, I knew what was gonna be my second step. But if you don't have a plan, then you're kind of putting yourself in a situation that you don't know what to do. So definitely plan out if you want to get them for three months, four months, six months, a year, or only one time. So this way you're mentally ready. The sixth factor that I love to let you guys know is the importance of care and maintenance. If you care for your hair properly and if the method is picked out for you properly and you do what you need to do to maintain them, extensions can be the best thing has happened to you. It gives you the hair that you never had or you once had and it just makes you feel good. For women, I always say hair is not vanity. It's part of who we are and how we feel and just it's a big part of our identity. So definitely you want to follow up and make sure you know all the ins and outs and everything you need to know about hair extensions. We have a playlist in my channel about how to care for extensions and we practically cover each and every method that we offer. So you can definitely like and subscribe to the channel and look at that playlist. So definitely we we'll link that below as well so potential problems that can come up with hair extension is the seventh factor that i like to share with you hair can start mat matting it can start tangling it can start tangling from the top or it can start tangling from the bottom generally if the hair start tangling from here and start kind of like crawling up or start getting matted on your shoulder so quickly, it is a quality issues. If the hair start matting from the top, from right underneath, from where the hair is attached, it's generally a care problem from you or it can be an application problem from the stylist, from a specialist who attached that. So knowing that you need to consult with a true specialist and make sure that you are doing what you need to do and care for your extensions so you can have that great addition in your life and have hair extensions serve you. I love adding some of the pictures, some of like most majority of the pictures that I'm putting in here, it's going to be most of not our work, but challenges and problems that we've seen with the guests. I will have solution for each one of them. And some of those solution might be just, you need to take the hair out and start with new hair or this method is not working for you, or this hair is the wrong quality. So definitely open communication. It's very, very important to talk to your stylist. And other parts of this challenges is if you are a swimmer, if you're somebody who swim a lot, not somebody you get in a pool every so often, or you go to ocean one time and you do what you need to do. If you're somebody who just love the lake. If you're somebody who like to write with their top down on their convertible, extensions can be a little bit of an issue. But again, there are tips and tricks that you can do to prevent all of those issues. Another part that can happen is you can have a scalp irritation. You can have a scalp allergies. Personally, I'm somebody who have 
very i have a very sensitive head i'm like one of those like i would say one percent of people so having gone through several different methods it's been times that i put them in in the morning and then next day not even like as early as like that night i wanted to take them out or I already took them out and that is actually terrible so you need to find the right method and application for you there are so many things i wish i knew before i got hair extension so i ended up having to make the third part to this video so tune in for the third you're watching the second and if you haven't watched the first one look below and tune into those as well